This video explains how my mitral valve function was severely impaired by the untreated hockum and the resulting venturi effect. The narrowing in the left ventricle output tract causes what is known as the venturi effect. It is the area marked in blue in this graphic. This graphic shows how the flow of liquid through a narrowing causes the particles to go faster while in the narrowed part. This creates a vacuum in the narrowed part which sucks in nearby objects. The leaflets of the mitral valve are close enough to be pulled into the septum by the force of the vacuum in the narrowing. Just a reminder, this is how the mitral valve opens and closes when there is no hockum and no venturi effect. The tips of the leaflets become thickened as stated in this report. It is the double underline text. I read it. Thickened mitral valve leaflets, particularly the tip of the anterior mitral leaflet. This stops the leaflets of the mitral valve from sealing properly and the valve leaks blood from the left ventricle to the left atrium. This also causes permanent damage to the leaflets and the mitral valve. The heart now has to work harder to pump blood to compensate for the blood lost to the left atrium. This causes the heart muscles to become more thickened and enlarged, resulting in the left atrium becoming enlarged and the whole heart becomes larger. In this test report, my left atrium, LA stands for left atrium, diameter has enlarged to 62.32 millimeters and should be less than 40 millimeters. In this test report, the areas of the atria are stated. My left atrium area is 36 squared centimeters and should be less than 23 squared centimeters. The area of my right atrium, RA stands for right atrium, is 25 squared centimeters and should be less than 19 squared centimeters. Enlarged left atrium makes the heart lose its natural rhythm, which is the most efficient way of pumping blood. The heart rhythm becomes erratic and inefficient. It is called atrial fibrillations. This information is from the internet and I read it. If left untreated, however, the side effects of a fib that is atrial fibrillation, can be life-threatening, leading to stroke or heart failure. Heart failure or cardiomyopathy occurs when the heart muscle is too weak to effectively pump blood through the body. Atrial fibrillations cause physical weakness. Mitral valve dysfunction causes shortness of breath and physical weakness. The mitral valve needs to be repaired or replaced by an open heart operation. If an operation is done to remove the hockum obstruction, normally the mitral valve is repaired or replaced in the same operation. The tricuspid valve also leaks because of an enlarged heart. This information is from the internet. I read it. The most common cause of tricuspid regurgitation, which means leaking, is enlargement of the right ventricle. 
In this report for a test done in 2015, my tricuspid valve has mild to moderate incompetence, which means moderate leaking. This is another report for a test done in 2017. Moderate TR means moderate tricuspid regurgitation, which also means moderate leaking.